Hello everybody, welcome back to another Rare Mini Boss Spawn Guide here on Borderlands 3. Today we are going to be looking at the last of the three Rare Mini Bosses that spawn in the map Lectra City. So we've previously already covered One Punch as well as Wick and Warty. Today we're going to be looking at this guy right here. He is located very close to One Punch in the subway area of Electra City and his name is Eurist McEnforcer. So I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about this guy, how to find him, where to go, what he drops etc. So let's get on with the guide. And we'll be starting off as always by showing you exactly how to get to this guy. So you're going to want to spawn into Lectra City. There is only one place to go from the fast travel at the beginning. So once you are there, head up the stairs into the main open area of the city. And we're going to be hugging the right hand side of the map to get to a safe point where we can uh, farm him quickly. Uh, you can do this a couple of ways. You can go anywhere you want. Just make sure you head out into the general area of where I'm going. But uh, yeah, I'm going to run down the right hand side past the Wick and Warty uh, spawn and then right down into the very top of Electra City, heading towards the uh, the main entrance to uh, the area where you go and kill Killer Vault, which is just here. So we're going to go just before that, uh, about where I'm on screen right now. Um, I'll show you another map reference when I get there, just so you guys can see exactly where it is. But uh, we're going to hit a save point and then go and farm him in the underground from the closest available route. So uh, I'll speed it up right now, but you can see the route that I am taking, going all the way down this right hand side of the map, past Wick and Warty, round the corner, and then just follow the road all the way to the very top until we hit the bottom of the hill. You want to go up the hill, and then uh, we, this is actually past where we're going to be spawning uh, Eurist, but you want to be hitting this save point right here. Once this save point has been activated, you can successfully appear here every time to go and do some farming. So there is the map reference. Like I said, I put it on the uh, entrance to where you go to kill Killabot. Just before that, at the top of the hill is where you want to be. So head back down to where we've just come from slightly and turn to the right hand side. Jump down into this lower area and then turn and head into the tunnels. Eurist is just past this uh, train car right here which has been flipped over. He will appear in this doorway and now he will appear every single time as well. He used to be um, uh, one in every couple of runs kind of spawn like all the rare mini boss spawns were but they are now activated to appear every single time. So once you've taken him out, you can just go ahead and hope you can get some legendary weapons from him. He's quite easy to kill really, he does have a shield but his head is nicely poking out so crit spots are really good for that. Anyway, like I said, once you've uh, farmed him, if you don't get anything, quit out, come back in and then you'll appear right here at this save point right now which is very handy. All you have to do is run back down the hill that we uh, came up and then head back down into the low area and into the subway tunnels to uh, kill him once again. Rinse and repeat until you get what you want. It's also worth noting if you want to farm one punch, you can do the one punch um, spawn uh, at the opposite side of the subway, kill one punch and then run down to the right hand side of where we are now. You'll come from that direction to kill him. Uh, so yeah, you can farm two mini bosses at once. So let's talk about drops now then. There are three total drops, two shields and one weapon you can get from Eurist. Uh, the first of the two shields is the Rough Rider, the uh, legendary Anshin shield, which is a damage reduction shield. This is what it looks like. It's a returning weapon, uh, sorry, shield from Borderlands 3. It obviously was unique before. The second of his shield drops is coming up right now, and that is the Recharger, which is, uh, in my opinion, a much better shield than the Rough Rider. So if you're farming for shields, definitely go after the Recharger which is the legendary Hyperion shield on screen right now. A little bit of a close look at it right here, but you can see, uh, yeah, definitely a much better shield, I think. Anyway, he does drop one weapon as well. It's a legendary sniper rifle, and it is pretty cool, actually. Uh, this is the Easter egg of Eurist McEnforcer um, weapon that goes with it as well. I'll explain a little bit about that in a second. This sniper rifle fires crossbow bolts. It's quite tricky to use, but is really powerful if you can land critical hits. 
So the red text of this weapon, the weapon itself, the way it fires crossbows, the name of the weapon and the guy who drops it, Yuris Mick Enforcer, are all references to the game Dwarf Fortress. Uh, Yoris himself is a commonly used name for uh, dwarfs as well as a lot of Yoris Muk examples in uh, that game. Uh, this guy's an enforcer, so he's just called Yoris Muk Enforcer. That's where it comes from. I'm sure, there's some people out there probably understand that a lot better than I do, but I had a quick look into it. But uh, yeah, there you go, guys. That's everything that you need to know about the rare mini boss called Yoris Muk Enforcer from Lecture City. Thank you guys for watching, really hope you're enjoying these guides, there's plenty more to come and if you check out the link in the description, it'll take you to a playlist for the rest of the rare mini bosses as well, hopefully there's some in there that you may not know about. Thank you guys for watching, really hope you've enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>